A key part of Dunedin's storm water system is being upgraded. A new filter screen is being installed by Fulton Hogan at the Portobello Road pumping station. Dunedin City Council Infrastructure Manager Ruth Stokes says it will make the system more efficient. What we've done here is we've changed the design, which means that the pump station on the other side can work to its capacity, and that along with a number of other operational changes that we've done to the network means that the people of Dunedin can be assured that its infrastructure will work the best it possibly can, but can whenever it needs to. The screen will be cleared every week, and the updated design makes that easier to do. Previously, the screen stood vertically. It now sits at an angle. As water fills the system, it forces debris to the top of the screen where it can be cleared away. Stokes says this was a necessary change after last year's flooding in South Dunedin. So this change is one of many that we identified that we could improve uh, after our review of the, how our infrastructure performed during that event. But yes, that was certainly a catalyst um, to, for this change. When DCC staff looked at causes for the South Dunedin flooding, they identified the Portobello screen blockage as contributing to greater surface water volume. Stokes says while the new design means the pumping station will be operating at maximum capacity, other variables are outside of DCC control. What this means is that there will be less volume on the surface, but again, it's going to depend on where the rain falls, how fast it falls, all those sorts of variables. There is also a new concrete and aluminium screen to be installed, as well as a security fence around the chamber. Including design and construction, the project is costing around $310,000. Jack Conroy, The South Today.